Hi there! Did you ever wonder how you clip a paper clip to something and make it look like it's actually underneath it and bumped? Well, that's what we're going to do today. So follow me and let's begin. So as you can see here, I have a paper clip done already and it looks like it's bumped up underneath the photo here. It's actually clipped to it. And if I click on this here, you're going to see I've used a layer mask and an embossing layer. And if I turn that off, you'll see how it is without that embossing. And I like to do this better than the dodge and burn. Now here is another clip I've put in here and I haven't done anything to it yet. So I'm going to add a layer mask right off the bat. And I want to clip it to this yellow paper under here. So I'm going to command or control click on that layer to select that shape. And then I'm going to go up to the layer mask on that paper clip and I'm going to find a small hard round brush. And this usually works about a 19. So I'm going to zoom in here carefully and you want this part to be up above and then this part I'm going to have underneath. So I'm going to use black and I'm going to hide it by painting on that layer mask. Remember black conceals and white reveals whenever you're working with a layer mask. And you just carefully go around here and you get all of the paper clip hidden out of there. And we might have to touch this up, oops, and if you do a little oopsie there like I just did, you could either Command Z or you can add it back in f with the white. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a shadow here. I actually use an outer glow I'll show you that and add this little piece of the white. Remember, white reveals, um, so I had to add that back in there. Now, if you double click on your layer right here to bring up the dialog box for your um, blending modes, you're going to see layer mask hides effects. And now watch this area. See when I clip it or click it, check it, then that little piece of shadow that was on top of the yellow is gone. Oh, and while I'm here, this is the outer glow I use, and I use a spread of 2 and a size of 8, linear burn, and it'll pass me about 30, just for reference. Okay, so now we have um, a little bit over here, so I'm going to take a soft brush in my default black again here, and I'm going to just skim right up next to this to hide the piece of the shadow from the part that we are concealing so you don't see its shadow either. And you can't really see that until you turn on that um, hide mask effects. Okay, so, so now for a little magic, and this is how we're going to make this look more realistic. We're going to add a new layer underneath our paper clip layer. And then we are going to command or control click on the paper clip layer itself so it's selected. And then using a brush or B with white, and we're going to paint in where that paper clip is and that selection is going to keep it inside of there so that it's only showing there the shape of that paper clip and you just go around and you paint paint it all in there with that white and believe me this will make more sense here in a minute so you paint all that in really good make sure it's all covered and then we're going to go up and I'm going to add my embossing style and I believe it's way down here and if I hover over this, it'll pop up in CC Emboss. And I use this for clips because I have different embossings. And then Command or Control D to deselect. And you can see it's there very lightly, but this is where I start from. So under the bevel and emboss with the dialog box, you can see that I have a s emboss smooth and a depth. And if I increase that depth a little bit to say 63% is what I think I have it at now, Okay, so we have a style emboss, technique smooth. I have my depth set at 63. My size is 5, and I have the direction going up. And the soften is set at about 12 pixels. And all these can be adjusted a little bit to your personal preference. And the shading, I still have at 120. It's using global light. And the contour is the standard, just the straight line, diagonal line, going from bottom left to top right and highlight mode of screen of course and I've taken that opacity all the way up to 100% and the shadow mode I use linear burn anywhere between 60 and 75% for this kind of thing here 
And what you're going to notice also here, um, let me push OK so you can see, I've taken my fill on my layer all the way down to 0%. And that looks very, very realistic to me. And it looks like the paper clip is underneath the actual photo or paper itself, and it's bunching up. And that, to me, makes just those little teeny tweaks and touches are what make a total layout look realistic. And I'll zoom all the way out here so you can see my whole layout. And those little clips are one of the items on this layout that just makes it touchable. It makes it very realistic looking, at least to me, in my opinion. Um, these may be a little drastic. And I can go back in and I can tweak that embossing, maybe take it down a little bit or take down the uh, shadow opacity down a little bit for, you know, underneath there. But for right now, this is what I like, and I like it to look like this. And then when it's printed, it looks extremely realistic to me. And I have many people who open my books, and they, they touch it, either for texture or for things like this, because they think I have actually sewn something into it, or I've actually used a real paper clip in there, but I haven't. I've just learned how to tweak using the program and all the little things in it, and this is just one of many. So if you have questions or you see something, especially of mine, that you would like to learn how I did it, I would be more than happy to share because that's what I live for. I really do love to share and to teach, and that's what SAS is all about. So I hope you come join us, and like I said, give me suggestions and things you'd like to learn in the comments below or you can contact me and email me through the site. So till next time, see you then.